Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. No change in the dynamic of Aternum last night as peace persisted throughout the evening. KOTT News crews took the opportunity to explore the brimstone and acid pools southwest of New Corsica. Initial investigation revealed Azov-powered technology near the entrance to the acidic area. Deeper investigation revealed an unusual crystalline formation in the center of the pools. Interacting with the object brought multiple denizens of the acid pools to its defense, but KOTT News crews were able to defeat the waves of enemies and complete our investigation in the desert. KOTT News crews will bring you more on this story as it develops. Quickly to the weather and once again the sun up, the sun over, the sun down. Before the polar pattern emerges yet again in Brightwood and Cutlass Keys. For more roster submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight. Brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. Up first, the syndicate podiatrists of Come, Honor Feet assail the zealots of order of chaos for control of first light and the flow of the spice these syndicate physicians strike at the hyssop fields and spice production facilities of the southern peninsula seeking to eliminate azov travel and increase their medical practice the reigning spice lords of order of chaos continue to provide their residents with reasons to live there now they have to hold off any malpracticing physicians coming to steal it then, the syndicate forces of House Atreides assault the marauders of CB4 for the primary oil reserves of Weaver's Fen. House Atreides make their first move on the island, seeking to secure land from which to serve as a staging grounds for future ambitions. Gusto and the boys aren't gonna like someone rolling up into their block, but they can respect an all-out RP battle between two committed companies. Later, the syndicate forces of Rock Bottom Boys attack the Marauders of Camelot Dodgers for control of the medicinal hot springs and resort destination of Ebenscale. The Rock Bottom Boys of the syndicate feel like there is only opportunity to rise up from the depths of third place on the territory control list. But in order to maintain their plush lifestyle, the Camelot Dodgers stand ready in the fort to defend the bamboo forest preserves and retain the region. After that, the marauders of Norivana assault the vault of the Covenant forces of Here Be Monsters for control of the financial capital of Windsward. Norivana forces trying to make a big splash on the island and make a new name for themselves by attempting to capture the funding needed to maintain their armies. Out of an abundance of concern for corporate espionage, the security forces of Here Be Monsters have already changed the combinations to the locks and doubled patrols to stop any break-in attempt. Be sure to tune in for complete coverage and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.